Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have another what's sold video for you today. This one doesn't have any crazy returns in it, but it kind of does have a little twist on a return, which I'll show you later with that item. If you're new to the channel, welcome. First time here, remember to hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, hit that bell notification. And if this isn't your first time here and you've been here before, thank you so much. Remember to hit that thumbs up. But I don't want to keep you any longer and let's get to some of these items. So the first thing going out is this blue Yeti. This is the new offshore blue. We were the first ones to have these on eBay. Uh, I only picked up one. I picked up actually two for myself. And I love it. I love this color. It's just the colors that I like from Yeti that where they're just bright and they pop. This is one this is one of my favorite colors, other than the King Crap Orange. We ended up getting $52.99 for this 20-ounce Rambler with the Maglid. We also have this Rocco Bedelli 2021 Topps Archives fan favorite autograph. It is not numbered. Uh, we pulled this out of a box in one of our previous videos. We ended up getting $5.99 plus shipping on this one. We have a wrestler going out. Roddy Roddy Piper. This one is not in that great a shape. $9.24 plus shipping for this guy. Uh, we got a ton of offers, but a lot of low ball stuff. It finally sold for full asking price. So, super happy with that one. Another wrestler going out. We sent an offer out on this guy for $28.99. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. If you haven't, if you know wrestling, you know about Macho Man. He, cool one. One of my favorites. I kind of want to pick this one up in better shape to put on display. Next, we have a Japanese video game going out. PlayStation 2. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, it's this one right here. Uh, Kadelka? I think it is. It's a. I think it's four discs. Uh, we ended up getting $19.99 for this. We sent out an offer for it. We bought this on Whatnot for less than what we sold it for, so that was a really good price and a really good turnaround. Okay, another card going out. 2021 Topps Archives. Bobby Delbic, 1991 Bazooka Shining Stars Black Parallel. This card is also numbered 54 out of 99. Super cool card if you are a Red Sox fan. Uh, we did pull this one also out of a box of Topps Archives. We got a whole grand total of $4.50 for this parallel slash insert. Next up, we have a quirky replacement cap. We have three left in this bag here. Let me get this thing open. Right here, it's a toilet fill valve cap. Uh, we picked these up at our local hardware store on clearance. Didn't make much on these. $2.99 plus shipping. Okay, next we have heading out. This Bimini pink, I'm probably saying that all wrong. This is the color right there. This is the wine tumbler from Yeti. This is the brand new spring color along with the blue. We love this color. Uh, I had the first one of this color on eBay also. Uh, I probably should have picked up the coffee mug in this color. It probably would have sold a little faster. This sold in under a week, even being the first one on there. Um, my wife ended up, we ended up getting two of these, one for my wife, but I figured, hey, let's sell one. Uh, I hope to pick up some more of these in the future once my connection can get these a little bit cheaper. Because right now, I just don't want to pick up too many at that price because there's not much room for me to make money if they get any higher. So I'll probably hold off until I can get these a little bit cheaper and then I'll probably pick up some more of this one and the blue one for summer. But yeah, $49.99 plus shipping. This one is heading out. Okay, this next item is going out. This was a Walmart purchase, a clearance purchase, and I messed up. And whenever I purchased it, I showed you guys. It is this Grandista Nero. It's a Dragon Ball Z figure, I think it is. Uh, yeah, it's right there. We picked this up. I think we paid $15 for it. Uh, when I scanned it, there's actually a variant of this, which I didn't realize. And I thought this was the variant. I thought this one sold for like $80. Bucks. Well, I was completely wrong. So this one sells for basically 15 bucks. So we took an offer of 15 bucks. So we are losing money on this one. So things happen like that, bad buy. This was a bad buy. 
I'm not picking this up again. Unless I find one of these at a yard sale or thrift store for like a buck, then I'll pick it up. But I should have been more careful, but I wasn't, and I made a mistake. Okay, next up we're going to go grab some Clorox pull test strips. This should be right in here. Hope so. Right here. These are it right here. Salt pull test strips, three dollars and one cent. He's heading out. Okay, back to the Lake Racetown bin. This is right on top today. We have this prescription coffee mug. It's for one of those humor mugs. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think we picked this up for like a dollar. It's sold for eight ninety nine plus shipping. Heading out. And if you're curious how we ship coffee mugs, I'll put the link up above. We did a video on it. Okay, next we're going to Disney World. I wish, I say this every time, we are grabbing the Ruby Slippers. Brand new open package from the Amazon bin store. Wow, it took me forever to do that. $10.99 plus shipping. We paid $2.50 at the Amazon bin return store. And then we're going to the Magic Kingdom. I mean, this is all Disney stuff today. We're getting some weed eater replacement. I know I have two of them in here, so I'm going to figure out which one it actually was. Let's see, is it this one? Let's double check. Nope, it's not this one. I have two of them, and they're both pretty close to being identical. I think it's this one. 701663. Yep, that's it right there. 700, there we go. We paid about a dollar for these at our local hardware store. They were on clearance. We got them getting nine. 99 plus shipping, so pretty good on that. Okay, the next thing going on is some sports hydration mix, which is right here. BioSteel hydration mix. Got this from Walmart, $6.99 plus shipping. The expiration date on this thing is September of this year, so I wanted to get it out of here so somebody could use it. Okay, we got some batteries going out. These are 18 volt batteries for Black and Decker tools. Uh, they definitely are used. This was a mistake by us though. I went to go grab these out of the bin and it should have been two of these ones. Not one of them and one of these. So I reached out to the buyer, told him, hey, mistake in the listing. I must have sent the other one instead of this one to somebody else. But the buyer's happy. They're still, they still want these two. And I told him if I happen to find the other one of this, guess what? They're going to get it for free. So buyer's happy and super cool person to deal with. The next thing, we're going to go to the Gettysburg bin. I was just in here too. I'm not sure why. But the Lion King dolls. This one and this guy. $8.99 plus shipping on these. These are like from the uh, Lion King Broadway musical dolls. They're pretty cool, actually. Yeah, they're going to be finally hitting out. I don't remember where we bought these at. But they are super cool. And this is actually a little bit creepy, but really neat dolls. Okay, we are heading to Ocean City. I think it's oh, right here. I was thinking it was up there. there. We are sending out the Funko Burst Strategy Game. Uh, this is the Harry Potter edition. Brand new. A little bit of box damage. Not much. We ended up getting $5.24 for this. We picked this up at one of the yard sales we went to last year. Uh, I expected it to sell way faster. But guess what? It didn't. So, it's finally heading out. So, I, mean, I can't remember if we, made, if we sent out an offer or if the person made an offer on this one. But, yeah. Happy to see this finally get out of here. Because, honestly... I don't like Harry Potter, but I thought I was going to sell. Okay, next we are heading to the Bridgetown Band. I think it should be right on top. I think it's this one. Yep, Nike Golf Quarter Zip, size large. We ended up getting $7 for this. We sent out an offer. We've had it for a little bit and wanted to get it out of here. So, super cool to finally see this go. Next up, we're going to the Disney World Bin. Yeah, I had to double check myself there. I don't think it was put it in there. Maybe I did. Let's see. I don't think it's in here. Yep. Nope. I was wrong. This is Everglades seasoning. If you don't know anything about this, go watch Deer Meat for Dinner. I'm going to link to their channel up top. Uh, we heard about them on there. We ended up buying a bunch of their seasoning seasonings, and they included this for free. For the Everglades did. And this is something that we will not use, so we ended up selling it. We ended up getting $7.99 plus shipping from this. So uh, it's about 12, it's a 12 ounce pre-purpose or pre-season all-purpose breader. Also, we will have a video coming out where we did an unboxing from the Everglades uh, thing that they did with Deer Meat for Dinner. It actually included this sign picture. Keep an eye out for that video coming out soon. 
Okay, on to the PPG Paints Arena bin. We are grabbing the last two of the toilet replacement caps for the fill valves. Uh, both of these sold for a total of $5.98 plus shipping. Got these on clearance at our local hardware store. Do not overlook your clearance hardware store section. And we're going over to the Tito's bin. We are going to grab a green lightsaber, which is right here, which I forgot I had them all tangled up together. Go figure. I think this is our first green one to sell. I gotta get the tag out. Oh, this isn't going well. Oh, but there it is, right there. Perfect green lightsaber, and it does light up too. It's really hard to tell on camera, but you can see it. $8.24 plus shipping. Watch this. And it gets a little smaller. So it's pretty cool. Next up, we're going to Gettysburg. We're going to get a brawl. It's going to be a pink brawl. So I need this one right here. This one, uh, we got this from the Amazon bin store. This was a size 40 double D. We ended up getting a $3.75 plus shipping. We have about 50 cents into this because it came in a two pack. Uh, but the package was damaged, so we took it out. So we still have a red one left. Next up to the Punta Cana shelf. This is going out for the second time. Fire returned it the first time. They never even opened it, but they returned it. So I got it back in return and sold it. And actually got more money for it. $15.99 plus shipping. Sometimes returns are good things. In this case, it was. We got the item back, still in, the, still in the same shape it was sent out first time, and guess what? We got more money for it than the first time. So, in my eyes, that is a win, and this is probably the first time that a return has been good to us. Next up, Disney World. Oh, yeah, I wish we were going to Disney World. Where is it? I should be, I should have. Very familiar with this bin, because we've been going to this one a lot. We sold a Denny's hat. This is the Denny's hat from Breezewood, PA. I don't remember where we found this thing at now. Uh, we've had it for a little bit. Probably got it at a yard sale. Four dollars plus shipping. One of my kids' hairs on it. How did that been? Four dollars plus shipping. So really neat hat. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so next up we have these three pewter figures going out. We have an ice hockey lion, a skiing fox, and a draft playing basketball. This came in a huge uh, pewter figure lot we bought. For 40 bucks, we've been selling them slowly, but they've been selling, and we got $9.99 each plus shipping for these guys, all going to the same buyer. So I cut them a deal on shipping. So hopefully they're going to be happy with these. These are actually from 1979, fine pewter. So really cool figures. Uh, we still have a few pewter figures left, but they're gets getting low. Next up, we got the Tomorrowland Blu-ray DVD digital combo. I'm not sure the digital combo is in here. Yeah, it might, must be. We ended up getting a dollar seventy-five for this. We probably picked this up for like a quarter, fifty cents at a yard sale. So we didn't make much on this one, but somebody made an offer. We countered. They made an offer again, so we took it. So dollar seventy-five. It's heading out. Okay, next we are going to the Sandbridge bin to get a DVD, which should be right here. Yep, the Him Collection. I think this is from the years two thousand three. Nope, ninety-nine, ninety-seven to two thousand three. We have about a quarter into this, uh, $3.04 plus shipping. Also got my new Madden today. This is going to be for some sports card breaks so that I can put the sports cards on here and it can be in the picture. So super cool. Nice, nice mat. Actually ordered it on uh, Amazon. Next we're heading to Lake Raystown, which I always forget where that's at. There it is right there. We are getting a test pull strip. I tore this bin apart looking for something else. So now I'm assuming that these are not going to be easy to find. I see one. Down here, there's one, and there's two. One of these sold for $2.90, and the other one sold for $3.01. They are both heading out to two different buyers, and we are finally out of these. We picked these up a few months back at Walmart in the Walmart clearance. Finally glad to see these out of here. Okay, next is going out is this pink plastic Tupperware tray, $3 plus shipping. We ended up getting this and that big bulk thing we bought of uh, Tupperware that supposedly Yards of State sale. Uh, these are really cool. This is the last pink one we had. And we're going to Bridgetown to get a jacket. This is a vintage Duckster jacket right here. Oh, 
uh, shin open. It's a double XL. It's one of those, um, yeah, vintage Duxter double XL polyester jacket. We ended up getting $9.99 plus shipping. We did not make much on this one, so. But glad to see it go out. Hopefully, somebody's gonna put this to a new, good home. Then we're going down to Ocean City to go get a core cardio DVD. You know, you guys know we like selling each body. We haven't sold one in a while. We're down to, there's the core cardio right there. We're only down to about five discs. We broke out two sets of T25 and P90X. It's been selling them as replacement discs. $4.99 plus shipping on that one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that What's Sold video. It got really good towards the end. Uh, once the weekend hit, our sales just started coming in. Now, all the sales were kind of small, but small sales do add up. And I don't mind shipping small items either, because the small sales were a lot of small items that are really, really easy to ship. So until next time, guys, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep picking. Bye.